So recently I published a video where I went through my seven income sources and that video did quite well. I got a lot of comments from you guys in the comments and a lot of people sent me DMs on my Instagram as well. So what I thought I'll do today is elaborate on these different income sources and mainly focus on the ones that I was able to grow to over $10,000 every single month. So that if you are a beginner that's looking to make 10K every month, you're going to know exactly what works and what doesn't work so that you can focus on the side hustle or on the online business that's gonna get you to the financial goals that you're trying to get to. All right, so jumping straight into the first income source that I'm going to discuss, that I was able to build up to over $10,000 every month, which is B2C e-commerce sales. Now, for those of you that don't know my backstory and you're not really sure of exactly how I got started in online business, building up an e-com store was actually one of my first ever successful ventures when it came to me quitting my full-time job. And the way that I was able to successfully do that was by primarily selling products on eBay. So what I would do is that I would find winning items that I could import from China by using alibaba.com and then I would import those products into my country which is the UK and then me and my team was shipping out the orders every single day well Monday to Friday anyway and the way that we was mainly doing that was by sending it directly to the end customer and then from there I started selling those exact same products on platforms like Amazon and Shopify and I was able to grow that brand to over a million dollars but that was the first ever online business that I built when it came to me achieving ten thousand dollars of course I was able to then scale it to over fifty thousand dollars sixty thousand dollars so on and so forth per month but building up an e-commerce store while selling physical products to the end user was definitely one of the best business models and it's still one of the best business models for any beginner out there because if you focus on finding winning products that you know people are actively searching for on the internet and they're spending money on and then you start selling the item yourself and of course you brand your entire business around those products then there's no reason why you're not going to be successful but this actually now brings me on to one of the second income sources that i was able to build up to over ten thousand dollars every month which is b2b e-commerce sales and for those of you that don't know what b2b is it stands for business to business so in addition to me selling products to normal consumers that wanted to use those items that i was selling i was now also buying products in bulk from china and primarily selling to other businesses that was then going to sell those products on and of course the businesses that i was selling to could go directly to china if they wanted to but because i was able to build up a decent amount of capital from the b2c business i was then able to use that capital when it came to buying inventory in bulk and then get the products at a cheaper price and of course because I was based in the UK the businesses that I was dealing with were also based in the UK they were going to be able to get quicker shipping and to be honest I wouldn't necessarily say that a beginner should focus on this type of business straight away because again it is going to require capital when it comes to getting started I would say focus on b2c and try to get into that in the easiest way possible whether it's drop shipping whether you start off small but as you start to scale that business where you're selling to everyday customers you're then going to figure out ways of being able to ship orders in bulk to businesses that are going to buy from you for them to now sell it on use it depending on what items you're selling but you're then going to be able to become a supplier and this now leads me on to a different type of product that i sold and one of my third income streams which is digital products now of course the main way that i've been able to build up my wealth was from physical products but i then moved over to selling digital products and i've sold various different types whether it's online courses ebooks and things like that but one of the main benefits of selling digital products is that there's a higher profit margin because of course there's no manufacturing cost there's no fulfillment cost or anything like that so selling digital products is definitely a business model and an income source that I would advise anyone that's looking to make money on the internet to look into everything can be automated whenever a customer buys any one of the different digital products that I'm selling on the internet right now it gets sent straight to them I don't have to press anything no one has to do anything it's automatically fulfilled and if you're a beginner that is thinking about selling some sort of a digital product you've got so many different options available to you when it comes to where you're going to put it for customers to buy it of course you've got marketplaces like Etsy you've got Udemy you could even sign up to something like Skillshare and host your digital product there depending on what type of digital product you want to sell but the main way that I've been doing it for the past few years is using the platform called Teachable now I personally like Teachable because it's easy to use and you don't necessarily need to compete with so many other people that are selling a very similar product to you and plus 
Plus, if you do the SEO right within your Teachable account, you're gonna be able to get your digital product ranked on Google. So I've been able to get various different students join all of the different digital courses that I'm selling, mainly for the fact that they've gone over to Google and searched for the specific course. And to give you an example of what I'm talking about, one of my courses help people when it comes to building up an eBay business from start to finish. I put all of my years of experience into it. It's super helpful and I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it, but I've been able to get students join it because they've gone over to Google just like this and they've typed in something along the lines of start your own eBay business course just like that and then click on search. And if I just scroll down slightly, as you guys can see over here, here's my course in the Google search results. People click into it. They're then gonna be able to get all of the information they need before deciding on if they want to buy it or not. And then of course, from that point, if they do decide to buy it, they're gonna be enrolled into it and all of the lectures are gonna be laid out. They're gonna get all the information they need when it comes to building up an eBay business. And this is the exact same process that I've done with every other digital product that I've sold. And this now brings me on to one of my next income sources. And it's one that I tend to recommend most beginners to get into, which is Google AdSense. Now I've been making money with Google AdSense in a number of different ways. I've been earning it through things like affiliate websites. And I've also been earning it through YouTube channels like the one that you're watching right now. And the way that it works is that whenever you see an ad being played on one of these type of videos, the person that owns the YouTube channel is of course going to be able to earn a portion of the ad revenue. Similar thing goes with a website. Once you build a website, you're then going to be able to place ads on that website. When someone's scrolling through it, they click into one of the banner ads. You as the website owner is going to be able to earn a portion of that ad revenue as well. So Google AdSense is definitely a great way to earn a passive source of income because the more valuable content that you put out there, whether in the form of videos or whether in the form of written articles, you're going to be able to earn a source of income. And that's what I've been able to do. Now, one of the things that I love the most about building all of these different websites and making these type of videos is not necessarily because of the AdSense, but because of the community that I'm able to build. When I put videos out just like this, I'm able to connect with like-minded people. And over the years of me building all of these different platforms, I've been able to connect with amazing people. Some of them I'm doing business with now. Some of them are just generally friends, but it's a win-win situation if you are someone that is considering to start a YouTube channel over the next year, as well as build a website. And this actually brings me on to one key thing that I want to touch on when it comes to all of these different income sources that I'm talking about that have allowed me to earn over $10,000 every month, which is that you shouldn't necessarily focus on making the money. You should focus on what you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Because yes, even though I'm able to earn 10K per month with Google AdSense by building websites, publishing videos, if I didn't necessarily like doing these things, then the money that I'll be making wouldn't be worth it. So if you're currently a beginner that's thinking about starting some sort of side hustle, thinking about starting some sort of online business, you need to sit back and think about what you're willing to do over the long term and also think about what you're actually going to enjoy. And that's one of the main reasons why I tend to tell beginners that are thinking about starting a website or even a YouTube channel where they're either showing their face or not showing their face and they're also looking to earn Google AdSense revenue to focus on the three P's. The first P, as I just said now, is passion. You need to make sure that you've got passion when it comes to the niche that you're going to create videos about. If you don't have passion, then you're going to end up giving up after a month, two months, three months. The second P is to make sure that it's a popular niche and people care about the information that you're providing. Because of course, if no one cares about it, then you're not going to get any engagement whatsoever. And the third P is profit. You also need to make sure that you're going to be rewarded for the effort that you're putting in when it comes to giving out valuable information. If you're able to remember these three different P's when you first get started on your path of trying to build and grow your Google AdSense revenue, you're going to be able to earn your first $1,000, $5,000, $10,000 every month in Google AdSense before you know it. But swiftly moving on to one of the final 10K per month income sources that I'm going to discuss, which is affiliate income. Now, the way that this works is that you're going to be doing affiliate marketing. And for anyone out there that's confused on exactly how it works, what you're going to do is sign up to an affiliate program. From there, you're going to be paid an affiliate commission when someone buys a product or service using your affiliate link. And I've been able to build up my affiliate income in a number of different ways. For example, I've built up affiliate marketing websites where I'm getting articles ranked on Google for highly searched for keywords. And within those articles, I'm able to place affiliate links so that whenever someone clicks into one of those links, once they've got all the information from that article, not only have I earned Google AdSense income, but I've also earned affiliate income as well. The strategy that I mainly use when it comes to earning affiliate income is search-based affiliate marketing. And of course, this is mainly done with the two biggest search engines in the entire world, which is YouTube and Google. This is the strategy that I'd recommend any beginner out there to use to put yourself in a position of placing your affiliate 
affiliate link in front of someone that's actively searching for information about that product or service so that you can increase your chances of being successful. And in my opinion, I would say that affiliate income is one of the most passive ways of earning a source of income because you don't necessarily need to hire a team, build any sort of product, deal with any sort of customer service, invent anything. All you're really doing is finding already existing products out there by going over to marketplaces and networks, even going directly onto a company's website, scrolling down to the bottom and checking if they've got an affiliate program. And then from there, as I already said, you're going to put your affiliate link in front of someone that is searching to buy that particular product. And as I already said at the start of this video, everything is automated. The money gets deposited directly into my bank accounts, all of my different PayPal accounts. I don't have to think about it. I'm able to fall asleep, wake up and see money deposited directly into my bank account without me doing anything because I've got the entire affiliate marketing business automated. And of course, there's a lot that goes into setting up this particular side hustle. If you wanted to watch a completely free webinar where I break things down in a little bit more detail, you're going to be able to watch a completely free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below. In that webinar, I explain how I was able to go from zero to over a hundred thousand dollars in pure profit with my affiliate marketing business and the secrets that I want to share with you to get you on the path of being able to earn your first ten thousand dollars. So make sure you check out that free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below. And if you also wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made recently where I break down exactly how you can start making one hundred dollars every day, practically speaking, in this video I break down the actual steps for you to earn real money that gets paid directly into your bank account. You're going to be able to watch that video by clicking the link over there. Check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it and I'm sure that it's going to help you out too. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.